given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Tarot 2222, and this morning, Aquarius, it's your turn. Your 3 a.m. meeting with Diana, me. Let's see what God and Spirit has to say for you at this hour. We're tapping in, people, to 3 a.m. Let's get to your reading, family. Aquarius, Aquarius. We finally get to you with the 3 a.m. reading channeled messages, people. Let's see what the God and Spirit has to say for your ass this morning. I've been dealing with one shady Aquarius all day. By releasing let her go in love and let's see what I go on for the rest of you. Let's see if you lot are healing and walking in love. Wow, fucking wow. Because you know I'm not shuffling them again, people. The three in one. Spent all day shuffling these babies. And now here we are, the base energy for you. I see your dreams are about to come true. Or maybe some of you are experiencing that right now. I see stability coming back to your life. Finances getting on track dreams coming true you making them come true in true in love true in your business or your career climbing up the corporate ladder if that's what you want opening that new venture for others but I see some getting married being asked to be married there's a pot of gold whatever the pot of gold is for you for some of you it's your children fertility card but I see a lot of you have accepted a hand in marriage and offer a proposal, and I see an offer of marriage, of stability and finances coming in for you. Someone coming in to stable you out, open up your heart chakra. I see you being open to the flow of love right now, being so happy, releasing and letting go, birthing new creations, new ideas, and finally children coming in for you. I see children, at least three, coming in for you, Aquarius. I see you manifesting and setting your intent, opening up that third eye and being a powerhouse that you are, accepting that call upon your life, as well as accepting her hand in marriage or his hand in marriage. And there you are, being so happy, being so happy, releasing and letting go of the past, of the anger, of the negativity. I see a shift and a change in your focus and perception. You're seeing things differently, finally seeing that your lessons are now transmuted into blessings because you realised that the path that you've taken is not for the weak, but you can endure it. You've been given this task ahead and here you are, coming up out of your void, your storm, your lonely place, your sadness and your isolation. I see you coming up, healing, reaching for the stars, reaching for your dreams changing your focus and your mindset realizing you're not too old it's not too late it's never too late to go back to school you're not too black you're not too white i see a realization and a hard moment for someone and this propels them out of their dark space out of their dark night of the souls i see you coming up out of depression and going towards your dreams and getting them with this well-deserved reward i see so much abundance for you i see wish fulfillment coming in again twice the nine and the nine you have wish fulfillment and it's coming up after the death card of a relationship of karmic cycles but i see you transforming your whole life some of you changing your last name becoming single again starting again from scratch being in a long-term relationship and learning how to be on your own again look after your children by yourself i see you transforming your life maybe you didn't even have a job Maybe you wasn't educated, now you've gone back to school, got that master's degree. I see someone having a new vitality, a new, a new, just new. Like, your chakras are now unblocked. I see you going full force. Like, you're transforming everything. Like, it's like God and Spirit has just breathed life into you themselves, and they have. And now you're transforming every part of your life, killing those things that no longer serve you. And this is going to bring you in material abundance. I see so much abundance coming in for you. And it follows a period of hardship. You've been through it. You've had to endure these times. But because you endured, here you are being breathed. God is breathing life into your situation. And it's bringing in material harvest for you, Aquarius. Counting out those challenging times. And look, 
prosperity begins. Partnerships and alliances are coming together. Two people making a promise, putting ties on, bringing growth, bringing children. You coming up out of your dark night of the souls, getting yourself up, picking yourself up off the floor, out of your tower moment. I see you doing it. I see someone coming in to communicate to you exactly how they feel. And this is going to be triumphant. Maybe this person is a teacher. Or maybe this is you. Because I think you're wise, Aquarius. You're supposed to be having your own business. I see you spreading your wisdom. Your wisdom that you learned through your life experiences. Bringing peace and harmony to people's homes via the internet. So I feel like whatever has you in this dark night of the souls, this transformation had to happen. And that's why you're here in the void, being stripped of all the old, of the ego, being forced to face those fears, being forced to release what no longer serves you, being forced to stand in your truth, the sword of truth, people. This brings in a new beginning with the number one card. We see one, one, one. And then we see four, four, nine, nine people. And there you are, mastering those emotions, guarding your heart and confronting yourself, releasing and letting go of the past, doing the shadow work, loving on that inner child, listening to your intuition above all else. Tapping into your godlike energy, ascension people, and there you are, receiving and giving the highest, highest energy of all people, the highest, and the bottom of the deck, you are on the right path, wherever you're here, at rock bottom, your dark night of the souls, your tower moment, or whether you're climbing up the ladder of success, towards your dreams, towards your other person, or whether you're here in your utopia, your heaven, your abundance, you are all on the path, on the right path, just at different stages. So let's get you some tarot now, people, and see what the tarot wants to say to you, Aquarius, at 3 a.m., at 3 a.m. Let's see if we can pick up some energies from these cards give me a minute while I put away my special pack they say bye to you and here comes the modern witch tarot people on the bottom of the deck Aquarius is walking away from things that no longer serve them Libra, Gemini and Aquarius here you are just walking away from those naysayers from those haters from that, that possessive partner that don't mean you're no good that person with the sword mouth you're moving away from them and there you are moving towards better days looking forward to growth and stability I see someone stable coming in to offer you love I see a giving and receiving of energy of love of finances but I also see you missing someone missing some people not realising what you have, looking back at the past, but not looking forward to the future. It's time for you to look forward, Aquarius. Those things were taken out of your life for a reason. They were only here for a season. I see new action. I see new communication coming in for you from a Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries. I see them coming in to let you know just how much they want to be with you. Maybe it's a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. I see passion. Someone coming towards you with a driving force and passion to let you know exactly how they feel. And they want to grow with you, have children, build a home, build finances, build a future. I see longevity, people. I see your mum being happy. But this comes after your tower moment, after an ending of a mindset, of a way of doing things, of a relationship, of a cycle. And straight after, I see an offer a new offer of love coming into your life 
maybe it could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, it doesn't have to be. But I see a new offer of love on the table. Someone wants to offer you love, give you a way out of your dark moments. See that people have been treating you badly, watching you crying, enjoying putting the swords in your back. I see you turning your back on these people that have been hurting you, that have been spreading rumours about you, that have been fighting against you. I see you turning your back on them. And there you are, fighting them off with a stick, standing on your own, standing tall and proud. I hear that they can't reach you, Aquarius. They can't reach you. And look at that, there you are. They cannot reach you because you are the star. You are ascending. And I see that there's a judgment call. I see that things are going to be put right. Those lies they spread about you, some truths are about to come out. And I see that Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus coming towards you, wanting to marry you and give you that abundance, offer you that pentacle. That pentacle is love. It is whatever you want it to be. It's love. It's an offer of finances, an offer of a career, an offer of a move up the ladder, a promotion. But I see you now resting and rejuvenating yourself, a period after a storm, after a heartbreak, a heartbreak from a person, or maybe family and friends let you down. But I see you about to get back your strength, about to embody and take back your power. I see you growing, your passion growing. I see passion reigniting in you. And here you are going towards a driving force towards your dreams, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I see you wanting the same thing like your other person, just happiness and abundance, and it's coming in. It's coming in in its droves. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. I see people fighting over you, wanting to give you offers. And there you are, the high priestess or the priest. Standing in your power. Creating that job online, like I told you. I see you building an empire from your house online. And it going worldwide, going viral. But that comes after an end, people, an end to a mindset of you thinking you can't do it. An end to a relationship, one that's abusive, that's not serving you any purpose anymore. Or an end to family and friends relationships. Those people that don't support you, that don't see in your dreams. And straight after that death comes an offer, a new beginning. A new beginning of hope hope and wish fulfillment to get that child to get that family there's your home behind you there's someone offering you love virgo capricorn or taurus plus a pisces cancer or scorpio two energies and both of them want to make your dreams come true so it's time for you to move away from the what the bullshit people that's you moving away or moving towards your dreams come true and here's your dreams come true moving towards you pisces cancer and Scorpio how beautiful was that now let's round these up and let's move on to the romance angel cards people and let's get a word on love a word on love as my ears are buzzing buzzing people let's keep going let's keep going on the bottom of the deck some of you are stuck in a loveless marriage it is not serving you any purpose and there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep your relationship or relationships going they want you to let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally pay attention to those red flags though the signs are cautioning you told you that person is no good or people are no good for you Engagement is coming in. Someone wants to marry you. And I told you that word ascending. You are ascending. But also your love life is about to ascend to a higher level of commitment, people. Let's get a few more cards for you. And then we change the deck up. Words for Aquarius, please. Words for Aquarius. There we go. That looks like too much, but we'll keep it. They want you to forgive and learn. Transmute those lessons into blessings, people. Because as you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments, Aquarius. Honeymoon. So first we have engagement, and then we have honeymoon. Six of Swords, moving away from the bullshit. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I see you going on a holiday with your person, and they said this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. 
it could be you met in another life though people and deception they want you to get rid of that person the unrequited love they are deceiving you someone is wearing a full self mask in your relationship that also could apply to family and friends release your ex people release them they are draining you the time has come to get back your energy and to clear it lighten up aquarius get out of your head and into your heart to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine because true love is coming in for y'all this will be and is the romance of a lifetime people the bottom of the deck always love yourself first my people because your self-respect makes you more more romantically attractive to others as well as yourself and let's get some sacred soulmate messages for you let's get one or two just a word of advice from spirit about your soulmate now or one that's coming in and guidance and steps that you can take to heal before they get here or while they're here let's see new patterns it's time to do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into not just your love life but your life addictions aquarius physical addictions emotionally addictive thoughts or negative patterns of behavior are affecting your life lessons of pluto denial illusions and deceptions of self or by another self love boundaries and detachments are important so they're saying that someone is deceptive around you not telling you the truth you are living in an illusion a lie it's time to set some boundaries and take off the blindfolds and detach yourself from some unhealthy energies people and let's get some messages from the angels quite quickly and we have may at the bottom of the deck schooling study and education will help your life's purpose aquarius and personal growth at this time the angels will guide you and help you get guide help you with this process francesca what do you deserve right now visualize it and it will come about but negativity will block your progress ariel new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself allow your spiritual gifts to open through study prayer and meditation layla spend some time alone aquarius meditating about your desires and intentions ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective bottom of the pack is rochelle as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart aquarius prosperity is coming to you now and let's move over and just get you some more angel messages some more guidance and we see comfort i am with you in your time of need helping you to heal your heart says archangel asriel victory is yours says sandoval Your prayers have been heard Aquarius and answered. Have some faith. And the last one is passion. Archangel Haniel says trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career my people. Follow it. Follow it. And let's get the last cards, the magical ones, your angel answer cards for where going. They're saying in the near future people this offer is coming in. It is about to come in. There's going to be an improvement of your physical health, emotional and mental health people and your finances. Be assertive. Get rid of that person that's no good or people that's no good for you, but please do it in a loving way. If you need help, ask your angels for help or seek expert advice if you're going through depression in your dark night of the souls people. They want you to communicate clearly what you want so that it comes to you now and your last card is telling you not no need to worry Aquarius come up out of your head 
and please get into your heart space now okay so yeah this is your girl the virgo tarot two 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 and two sending you love and light at 3 a.m we're we gonna play now ready for the show i'm about to take down you already know get the fuck out of my face now yeah you got it